on Capitol Hill, a group of Republican lawmakers set to publicly demand an investigation into the alleged special treatment given to Hillary Clinton by the FBI. One of those lawmakers, House Freedom Caucus member, Congressman Matt Gates, joins us right now. Congressman, what bothers you most that has been revealed already about the way Hillary Clinton was treated throughout this campaign? Well, it's deeply troubling that you've got a legal double standard that's playing out before our very eyes. As you just reported in your last segment, Brian, you've got people who hate the president, who have a bias against him investigating him. Meanwhile, you've got the Hillary Clinton fan club involved in the decisions that related to her illegal conduct. And so as members of Congress and as a member of the Judiciary Committee, we've got to make sure that this double standard doesn't apply going forward. And what's most troubling is that you had Andrew McCabe, the current deputy director of the FBI, designating the Hillary Clinton email scandal as special and not going to go through the normal investigative procedures, but it would be handled by a small team. So Hillary Clinton gets special justice, and at the same time, we're sick of people who hate the president, who have a bias against him, uh, on him, and that's deeply right. unfair, and it's something we got to look into. So yes, that's just hearsay. Here's the quote from the email on McCabe. The decision was made to investigate it uh, at, a, at, at headquarters with a small team. The Washington field office provided some personnel for the effort, but it was referred to as a special, and I was not given any details about it. That was McCabe, who, by the way, cannot go in front of the investigative committee. He has a scheduling conflict, but one person will be going, and that is Peter Strzok. So you have a problem with Peter Strzok, who has been struck out of this, who struck out of this investigation, but his, his fingerprints are all over this. He did the 35,000 emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop. He's the one who interviewed Hillary Clinton. He's the one who maybe trapped Michael Flynn, knowing that he had the intercepts. So the damage has been done from Strzok. I'm curious when Mueller knew that Strzok might have been compromised. Well, you're absolutely right. The other thing we've got to find out is what role did Peter Strzok have with the Fusion GPS discredited dossier? You'll remember, Brian, Attorney General Jeff Sessions would not tell the American people before Congress whether or not taxpayer money was used to go and buy a dossier to discredit the president. Was Peter Strzok involved in that? Was he involved in carrying that information to the FISA court to get a warrant to spy on American citizens? That was also something that the Attorney General wouldn't tell us, but tomorrow, the director of the FBI, Christopher Wray, will be before the Judiciary Committee, and we want answers. We have got to find out what's going to be done to clean up the deep state that is discrediting the rule of law in this country, giving special treatment to liberal Democrats like Hillary Clinton, and then having just this merciless prosecution of the president where, heck, we got more prosecutors investigating the president and his team than we had investigate the Oklahoma City bombing, and yet they haven't really turned up anything that demonstrates collusion. And so I think it's time for the country to move on, and most most importantly, time to reestablish right. the rule of law. So, so when you have this, uh, when you have this uh, press conference today with other lawmakers of the Freedom Caucus, do you have questions uh, about Jeff Sessions? Do you have questions about Ron Ro Rod Rosenstein? Do you have questions about the Justice Department too? Those two guys were put there by President Trump. Yeah, but I mean, Jeff Sessions needs to do his job. We've had over 20 members of the Judiciary Committee calling for a second special counsel to look into Hillary Clinton, and Jeff Sessions won't appoint one, despite there being substantial evidence that Hillary Clinton, the DNC, and her team were involved with Russians to discredit the President of the United States, both before and after his election. So we'd like to see the Attorney General step up and apply the same standard of justice to Hillary Clinton that seems to be applied to the President. And in the meantime, we've got to clean out the deep state of these people who are so biased against Donald Trump that they're prejudicing the American people and they're really putting a cloud over his right. administration that he does not deserve. You know, I just noticed over the last few weeks, Republicans, maybe for the first time in great numbers, uh, seem to be defending the president mm -hmm. uh, because they see it's where a good this sign, maybe finally. is going. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We need to do our job too, Brian, and that means exercise our oversight authority over the FBI and the Department of Justice. And we're going to start that uh, really in earnest today. All right. Uh, we'll hear it. We'll wait for it. Uh, Congressman Matt Gates, thanks so much. Thank you, Brian.